The main issues that I talked about today was why governments need to use their purchasing power when they buy goods, services and infrastructure as a tool to promote sustainable development. Today we discussed uh, procurement, sustainable, sustainable procurement, which is very important. It seems like a technical issue, uh, but only if we can put our policy wishes into procurement um, technicalities, we will really make the world more sustainable. Sustainability in public procurements is when governments begin to integrate environment protection, environment stewardship and social cohesion in their purchasing de decisions. So that means they look at value for money across the procurement life cycle and the product, service and infrastructure life cycle. Not just at the purchasing price. Because the cheapest is not always the most sustainable. And the most sustainable is of course where the value is. If you look around in the Netherlands today, all these modern buildings that we see, they are all highly energy efficient. And energy efficiency in the building and construction and industry actually began because government stepped in and said we're going to buy large scale infrastructure that is energy efficient so they provided the impetus the trigger for the whole construction industry to change and embrace the principles of green design, design for the environment, energy efficiency, um, more resource efficient building materials, etc. etc. The entity that's buying, the public organization is buying, is not typically the person going to be using the service or the good or the infrastructure. So entity one buys it, entity two uses it, and entity three manages it. So there's very little incentive for those buying to buy sustainable because they don't look long term. They just look at their current balance sheet, you know, from quarter to quarter and from year to year. So Ideally, we need to find multi-year framework, budgeting and accounting, flexibility for governments to really make sustainable procurement work. If you want to include development uh, cooperation as well, and you want to include developing countries in also being part of globalization and actually putting their products um, um, in the field, you really should help them uh, by technical assistance to also uh, procure in a sustainable manner. Um, because otherwise they will not um, procure sustainably. They have to adhere sometimes to three to five standards and it costs a lot of money to adhere to so many standards. I would like to somehow magically create policy makers and procurers with the courage to make the decision to say I'm going to try because nobody wants to try everybody's so concerned with the bottom line value for money interpretation of value for money at the time of purchase <laughs>